Okay guys, tonight I'm going to tie a typical Czech nymph. I'm going to do it in reverse style. Uh, traditionally they're tied, all the materials tied at the back here. So you have the shell back, the rib, the counter rib, and then you start the body. This way is a, a quicker way, I think. Um, keeps it thinner at the back as well. Okay, so I'll show you that. Now this is quite a wee drab one, apart from the hot spot. You can change that uh, to various different colours. Um, Sometimes this is called the heart of the fly. It doesn't have to have this, you can do without it. Okay, so in the vise, check nymph hook. This is a size, this is quite a big one, this is a size 8. Um, these are these Hanak hooks here. Now, check nymph hooks, check nymph flies are fished deep on the bottom. So to get it down deep, we need some fine uh, flat lead, lead, uh, lead foil. So that's the lead foil here. Cut yourself a strip with a Stanley knife, scalpel, and then it's a case of putting a layer of the lead onto the body. Starting near the back and just winding the lead forward, touching turns, nice and even, nice and flat. Do it to the eye, snap that off. Now you can vary the amount of lead. Generally I'll go for the average fly, I'll put two layers on. So I start just forward to the first layer and put another layer down. Try to sort of build a sort of kind of taper into the lead both ways. Now, tie this slightly different because I'm going to do away with one of the ribs. So for that what I'm going to use is this the gel spun uh, tying thread very strong, won't break and I'll, you'll see how that all comes together just shortly. So what I'm going to do, take the thread, just spiral it down to the bottom, take it back up, build a few wraps. It's just to help when you're doing your dubbing to stick it to the lead so it doesn't slide too much. Okay, so up and down a wee bit. Cut off your waist tag. Now you really need a, sc a scalpel for this, it's, it wrecks your scissors. So cut that with your scalpel. Now dubbing, you can use various colours in, you fancy. I've been tying some with this today. And I'm going to tie the one I showed you at the start with this. I really, really like this stuff. This is, if you're looking for a nice grub type body, nice and spiky, easy to dub, this stuff is amazing. This, here's your substitute. Now the same stuff comes in different colours, but you can use whatever you want, seals for, whatever, okay, so, a wee bit of this, dub it onto your thread. Now the secret here is to keep it as thin as possible. Check nymphs rely on their weight to get them to the bottom, but they also rely on being slim, so there's no drag, there's no legs sticking out, there's no extra fluff fibres sticking out, you keep it as thin as you can get it, okay, so, if you were tying a rib in, this is where you would tie it in as well, at the, at the, down the back, right, but I'm not going to use a rib for this at all, because of the hot spot, so, again, some more dubbing, just nice and tight, nice and thin, Take that forward, just covering the lead until you get in line with the point of the hook there. That's just where I generally put the hot spot in. Now I use something like this. Okay, you can use whatever you want. It can be just red wool, it can be seals fur, it can be anything you want, even a bead. I've used some with a bead in there, tied. Um, Tied these ones this morning, just with a tungsten bead in place, okay? So, take that to there, pick your, your colour, your hot spot, your heart, whatever you want to call it, okay? Let's go for a bit of pink, seems I quite likely use this for the grayling, grayling like a wee bit of pink. So, again, just dub some of that onto your thread. Nice and tight, not too much. 
take that forward. Okay, take that to there. Now what I do now is tie in my shell back. Now you can use various things for this, bits of latex glove, you can use these pre-made um, shell backs, different colours. You also get these ones that come in a card and you just cut a strip from them. So that's what I've kind of used tonight. So I've just cut a strip. That's a speck of stuff there. Now I'm going to tie it forward to the eye. First of all, I'm going to snip off the corners just to put a wee point on it. Just makes it a bit neater for tying in. So I'm going to trap that on top. Take it right up to the eye. Okay. Then get some more of your dubbing. You could change the colour of the dubbing here. You could go for a darker colour. Um, you could have three different colours in the body. It's entirely up to you. There's loads of different flies out there on the internet. You can look and see. See what you fancy. So, again... Build up a wee taper of the dubbing. Take that down to the eye. <coughs> okay, so tiny wee bit more just to cover that lead. Just tidy that up. Now, this is where the the silk comes in here, this, the gel spun, because what you can do with this is use this as your rib. Now, pull your back onto the top and put two turns in your thread. Spiral it down, two turns. Spiral it down, two turns. Now, don't pull it too tight because it will cut right through if you pull it too tight. Just continue with that as you go down the body, get to the end. Now, we drop a varnish, or you could put a bit of epoxy resin, whatever you fancy, even a, a bit of super glue. I just use vineyard cellar, I think that's great, van, great wee uh, varnish. And then, whip finish. That down in there, two or three turns, top of the wet varnish, pull that tight, get your scalpel, cut your gel spun, take your scissors and leave a wee tag, just a tiny wee tag there. Now that's the very quick and easy and simple way of doing it. Now, Pick out the legs here, so I've got various bits of velcro stuck to lollipop sticks and skewers that I use and I just, it helps to pick all this out. Okay. So it adds a wee bit of life without adding too much drag, sets off the colour nicely. Mixes it, give it some bit of light. So that's your shell back in place. Nice and quick. Great wee tie. Uh, that's probably coming in about that hook with the two layers of lead, about two and a half to three, to 0 0.25 to three, 0 0.3 grams. So that's a fairly heavy fly. Okay, probably the equivalent of um, what a somewhat a two or a 2.5 millimeter tungsten bead. Okay, okay. Hope you enjoyed that.